Hi there. John here with another episode of Connecting Through Magic, and we're going to do a rope trick. Now, when I was a kid, I, uh, I learned to tie my shoes. Problem is, is that I would get so excited about tying my shoe that um, sometimes I would get out in the middle of the playground and realize that my shoe was both shoes were tied together and I I realized that when I trip and I fell I, it was not very fun but the next time I did that there was a next time uh, I realized something you know what I'm a magician and so with that all I had to do was use my magic and I made the knot disappear and that gave me a big smiley face or was that a mustache <laughs> All right, that's my, that's the trick. I'm gonna teach it to you now. This one is a fun trick. I, I think they're all fun, but this also um, is gonna, it's gonna take you uh, once or twice, maybe three or four times working through it to make sure that your fingers and your hands are in the right place. So stick with it, it's worth it, and you'll figure it out. And if need be, you can rewatch this a couple of times. That's the best part about it being recorded. So this is the Hunter Bow Knot. We got the rope uh, over here. In a moment, I'm gonna use this uh, so that you can see that it can be done with a shoelace. So I'm using a rope, but a shoelace works just as well. So you've got this here, you've got the rope. You're going, you're gonna hold the rope like this with one hand. Now your other hand's gonna come in and you can hold it here. It doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed. Um, and uh, you could do it like this and mirror my actions, but I'm left-handed so I hold the rope in my left hand. But both hands are doing stuff, so it, you can mirror me or you, um, it will work either handed. So you've got the hand here. The other hand comes in and you grab it here. You're going to bring it up like this, so the hands are are uh, together like that, and this the rope is coming, you can see it, so it's like that. So from here to here. And you'll let some rope slide out, but you're there. Now, these, you, you've got scissor hands on both hands. You're gonna use your scissor hands, and so when you, you're here, you're like this, these two fingers are gonna come up, and you wanna make sure that this rope is on this side, kind of, you know, on the outside of this hand. Not like this, but like this, which is pretty easy if you, you're holding like this, these fingers come up. It's just the regular position that it's gonna be in. Now, this, these fingers come in and they grab the rope that's going on the outer side of this hand. These fingers are gonna grab the rope on this hand that's running on its palm. So like that, that rope there. So these are clipping here, this is clipping in the palm. Then you pretty much let go of everything except for these clipped finger, uh, the, the rope that's clipped with your scissor fingers and you're gonna pull. And you pull together like that, okay? So you've got You've got, now you have your bow. That's pretty cool in its own right. You could practice getting that because that's really, you want to be able to, when you're doing it, you want to be able to, you've got, you've got the rope, you grab, and you can look down a little bit, but you want to get it to where you can actually reach in there and pull. Notice that when I'm doing this and I come up, I'm, I'm already starting to get my fingers to clip. So it comes up. I clip and I clip and my thumb gets out of the way and it's so and it's clipped like that and then you pull again it, it gets to the point that they all their actions together so you've got so you have that and you can go back and watch that and that in itself is pretty cool now the next part you're going to take the rope like this so these fingers are both pointing out at you, you grab that rope and you pull that through. This rope, you're going to pull, so the, the, it's the same action, but to get that rope, 
you have to bend this hand down a little bit and you want to do that because you're twisting this a little bit and you grab and you pull that through. So that move, and that's really what ends up making the trick work is that you, you're like this. I'm gonna start from the beginning just so we're all clear. Got right here, pull, and I grab this rope and then I reach through and I grab it like this and I pull it through. And the way that twists the ropes, it makes it so that when I'm gonna pull this, this is a huge big slip knot now. And I get to this point here. If I pull any further, it comes undone. So now this is where acting happens. So you've gotten to this point. Let me do that here. You've gotten to this point, you reach in and again, so both hands are here, you grab that one, and you reach, and you, you, have to bend, you have to turn this to grab it. So they're both out here like this, you reach down, grab, and pull through, and pull through. And now this is a point of acting. You get to this point, you talk about how you would, t you would tie the shoes, and they would get there, and again, if I pulled this, it would come un undone. So now I'm gonna act. I'm gonna pretend that I'm pulling, and it's, so I've got the two ropes, and all you have to do is tense your muscles when you go like this. Don't pull hard, but you're gonna go, oh, oh. and that tensing makes it feel like you're pulling. And people know that there's a knot because, there you are, just like that. But it's still, it's loose. And all I do is when I go like this, you don't have to turn like that, but I like that because it gives it a little bit of a motion. But you go, and then I, what I realized was I was a magician. You could blow on it if you want, but um, just like, and you're like, I was a magician, and and it disappeared. I just throw in the silly, and it put a smile on my face, or a mustache, because that looks like a big mustache, big handlebar mustache. I grew a mustache last night. Anyway, because it's silly, and it's fun. So there we are. That is the Hunter Bow Knot. That is uh, my um, disappearing knot in the shoelace trick. So I said I would do it with this one as well. So here we are. The same thing where I've got, you know, I, the shoelace reminds me of when I was a kid and I was learning how to tie my shoe. Um, I realized, so um, I got so excited about tying my shoe that I, I would accidentally tie them together. And I would be in the schoolyard, and I would have these this knot, and I would trip, and I would fall, and I would trip, and I would fall. But then one day I realized, you know what? I'm a magician, and I can make that knot disappear. So that is, you can do it with a shoelace. All right, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you work through it because it's a great thing that, that this alone is to do that really so quickly and then to move in to there, and there we are. So, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you tomorrow.